The project started when we were contacted by Imprint Projects, which is the agency that uh, basically uh, curates the Sonos Studio in LA. The only thing that installation had to be was interactive and it had to respond to sound. So the light bulbs can almost be considered as three-dimensional pixels in space. So if you have a grid of 600, it basically has a resolution of 20 by 30. And as the sound reaches a certain amplitude, so a certain volume, it basically reacts within that field of bulbs. What we see here will be what's happening in the grid of bulbs, so the bulbs are going to be vertical. So it's almost as if the sound will be echoing, but through light rather than through just sound itself. There's going to be a series of performers playing with the piece, so the piece is going to be reacting to the music that they're playing in real time. We worked with a friend, Noah Zirkin, who designed and built all the hardware for the system. So this is basically the spine of the piece. Each board has relays for 10 bulbs on each side. Those boards are controlled by 15 Arduino boards, so I mean, if that's the spine, then this leads to this sort of the nervous uh, system over here. One of these Arduinos is hooked up to two of those boards, which has uh, five bulbs, so these bulbs are now reacting in real time to the sound that's coming out of the Sonos Connects. The end point of all the, the sort of uh, code and nerves are the bulbs, so basically they're just a binary on-off. The biggest challenge for the project was the hardware. The code sits behind the computer and you can tweak things and change it, but if a physical piece of hardware is not working, all you can do is try to do tests and you can't change it. That's what also interests me about programming is it's sort of limitless as to what you can do. The goal is when we get on site, we actually make it much better. We start to program other behaviors based on what we see. I would say this is the most complex installation in that we're doing something physical. We're also working with different types of software. We're working with custom-built hardware. It's a, it's a sort of ideal project for us uh, to be able to combine all these different things together.